If you love RGB, where do you get a load of this? Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Whether you love or hate RGB, it's taken the hardware industry by storm. RGB lights are in almost everything, from motherboards to GPUs, cases, and even RAM. And peripherals? Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot. I've said before that personally, I like them within reason. It seems to give the hardware more of a wow factor, and I like for the gaming rig I built to look different from your average PC. Of course, that's just my opinion, but even to me, it certainly can be overdone and just look bad. This brings me to the first part of today's segment. Video cards originally reported a new 1080 Ti coming out in China around April by a company named Colorful. While it won't be coming to the US, which is a little odd that the screen is in English, it's certainly different from anything I've seen before, at least in the consumer GPU market. So if you haven't guessed by now, this GPU has an LCD panel on it. <laughs> what? I don't know what I really think about it, to be honest. It's a nice idea to just be able to look into your PC and see something like, say, your temps. But then again, it's pretty simple to handle that through software. I ultimately think this will boil down to aesthetic differences. But what do you think? Can you think of a use case scenario for it, or does it matter? Do you think it'll look cool anyway, or just another gaudy, unnecessary add-on to hardware? Let me know in the comments below. While on the topic of GPUs, today ASUS showcased a revised version of their GTX 1080 and 1060 Strix cards with the updated RAM speeds NVIDIA discussed when releasing their 1080 Ti. The 1080 version comes with an effective clock speed of 11 gigabits per second of GDDR5X, and the 6 gigabyte 1060 comes with 9 gigabit per second GDDR5 RAM. They essentially use better memory controllers that allow the cards to sustain higher memory bandwidths, with the 1080 at 352 gigabytes per second bandwidth and the 1060 at 216 gigabytes per second. This is almost certainly a direct result of AMD's rumored upcoming 500 series graphics cards. Though their RAM isn't rumored to be faster, it's actually already faster than the 1060 today. To me, it just shows NVIDIA is trying to ensure they don't get overtaken by AMD in that area of the graphics market. Then, of course, the 1080 is in response of the upcoming Vega confirmed to be running HBM2. Prices haven't been announced, nor an official release date, though we should see them in April according to reports. So if you're thinking of getting a 1060 or 1080, you may want to hold off on that. Even if you don't care for the Strix cards, there's bound to be others to follow suit. This is actually a change made on NVIDIA's side, not a board partner move from ASUS or anything like that. So what do you think of the news today? Do you want a GPU with an LCD panel on it? What about NVIDIA's response to AMD? Ready for the new Vega cards? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.